Which spoon should I use? This is my curry goat spoon, because it's slightly turmeric-y. And this is my spoon for when I got angry when I couldn't make shoe properly. <laughs> People get intimidated by shoe, but if you follow my tips, you'll get perfect pastry every time. Now it's boiling. Add 200 grams of plain flour. It's come together like a roux. Mm. If your mixture's too wet, it won't rise as much in the oven. So the more drying out now, the better your shoe, really. I always cool my shoe in the mixer, so when you add your eggs, they don't cook. I'll do one egg at a time. With shoe, yeah, in comparison to any other pastry, you kind of have to gauge this part. So, like, one day it'll be, like, four eggs. The other day it could be, like, three and a half eggs. We don't know. You're looking for that V. So it's, like, pipeable, but not too runny. Can I put on my cola filling? I'm starting with 400 grams of mascarpone, which gives a lovely, fresh flavour to balance out the sweetness of the cola. Then two tablespoons of icing sugar. Whisk 500 ml of double cream. You kind of want it to be just like soft peaks. Yeah, sound. I've actually been reducing down some cola. So you've got the flavour of cola, but not the fizziness of cola. Add it to the mascarpone. I'm going to add my double cream. Quality control. Mmm. You know what it is? So, you know, like a cola float? Well, it's like vanilla -y, but like there is like a little bit of a creep of like the cola. It's pretty good, you know? Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna put it in the piping bag. Ooh, aggressive. Pop it in the fridge. Cool. So now I've taken out the shoe, so it's like puffy. Pretty much what I wanted to achieve as well. I'm gonna cut them in half and put them back in the oven with no heat on. So I need them to like dry out even more so it can be firm, crisp and... For the glaze, we have 600 grams of icing sugar, 130 milliliters of water, a couple of tablespoons of glucose. This is one of my favorite cheats. It gives the shiniest looking glaze. So now what I want to do, I'm going to heat my um, glaze to like a temperature of 32 to 33 degrees. Over 32 degrees, the glaze will burn in this colour, so keep your eye on it. Sound. So that's 32 degrees. So while that's chilling, I'm going to take out my eclairs. They're super dry now. I've divided my glaze into two plates. This one is going to be red, because obviously red and cola and stuff. So that's a proper deep red. That's definitely cola red. Can you imagine, like, a couple flecks of that white onto that red? That definitely says cola. That is also cool. I have flipped the top over. Dunky, dunky, dunky. Just dipping the last one into the red glaze. Double dip. Sound. That's a pretty good glaze. I want to focus on the decoration for my tops. Get a fork. That's what's going to be the pattern on top here. Yeah. I feel like if you're confident with mess, it's art. Cola red and white. That looks bad for you, innit? All right, let's have a taste. Oh, that is mad. So you get the shoe, yeah? And the cola cream's like, hey, yeah, this is the new favourite.